doing something big. Say, Lord, whatever you're doing that's big, include me too. Show me your place, my place, in your scheme, in your strategy, and in your plans for these days. Lord, do something big, not just for me, but do something big in me, through me, with me. Use me, Lord. Lord, my prayer today is not for you to do for me, but my prayer today is what do you want me to do for you? Ooh, lift your hands if you want to. Yeah, we're going to flip the script today. I know we've been on what God doing for us. Amen. But, but sometimes it's good to go ahead and appreciate him for him. Yes, and, and go ahead and spend time just thanking him for, for what he wants to do for you, baby. Girl. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, ask God what can you do for him. Woo we hey, hey, let's change our prayer this week. And let's ask God, okay, Lord, I'm not gonna ask for nothing this week. I wanna know what you want me to do for you. Stay right there. Uh -huh. I don't I don't get this. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Lord. I think it was John F. Kennedy that said, Ask not what you can do, what your country can do for you, but what can you do for your country? Maybe if you haven't received the breakthrough, the, the blessing, the manifestation that you think you ought to have by now, maybe it's a matter of changing your disposition and your perspective from God do for me and, and then this season ask God what you can do for him mm -hmm. just lift your hands up right there yes sir because he's going to tell you yes sir maybe the missing link is an action or an instruction that he told you to do maybe Maybe God is actually waiting on you. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's your move and not his. Ooh, we lift your hands up. Yes, sir. Get in that post up. Lord, we thank you right now. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, go ahead this morning. Yes, sir. Yes, in that post up. Thank you, Father. Lord, show us. Yes, sir. Show us our move. Mm -hmm. We thank you for this for this mighty move of your spirit and how you're moving and ministering in this hour. But Father God, yes sir, we dedicate this week, this Palm Sunday, this week of resurrection. We want to resurrect our relationship with you. And Lord, show us what we can do for you. Show us what we can do for others. Show us what we can do for people. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, show us. We're sensitive to you. And why are you showing us, sir? We refuse to be to be filled with fear and frustration over what we don't have. Mm -hmm. We refuse to, to relish in what's not. And we're going to choose to count blessings instead of problems this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't get in already. We're going to choose to, to count the good stuff and we're going to look past the bad. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But Lord, we need your help. Uh, the, the old folks said he's a mind regulator. So I say, Lord, Lord regulate, regulate my mind. My mind. But see, sometimes it's your mind. Remember we talked about thinking last week? Sometimes thinking, thinking. Yes, sir. Lord, regulate my mind. Use me. Make me a tool that you can use on earth for other people. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, everybody say, Lord, Lord here, I am. here I am. Use me. Use me. Hallelujah. Give God a hand praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank God for the praise team, the intercessory team, the Amen. media team, and all the teams that go into making this team work. Amen. Thank you so much for your time. Now, take a moment and say hi to somebody. Look at somebody. Amen. That, 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 that. Just say hi to them. Say, hey, good to see you. Amen. Want well, thank God for all the visitors. Amen. When the visitors wave, when the visitors wave, amen. All the visitors in the house. 
Well, actually, you know what? Yes, Rex. Some of y'all been coming so long. You're pretty good. But man, they been, yeah, they been, they get the same seat and everything. You get this sign. Amen. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. We, we thank God for you. Thank God for the Facebook family. Amen for tuning in today. We do pray that something will be said that's going to minister to you and that's going to bless you throughout this week. Amen, amen. Well, as has been said, of course, there is a word from the Lord. Open your Bibles to Genesis, yes, sir, to Genesis chapter 12. Verse number three. Mm -hmm. This is a word I, I had something that's in my heart. Genesis chapter 12. We're going to do verses number two and three. And while we're doing that, of course, we know that this has been a season of, of recompense and reward. And in fact, we had uh, we had somebody on pro, uh, on schedule, of course, to, uh, to do a testimony, but we kind of changed that up um, because there's another focus that God wants to do. He, he, he is still, in fact, he has shown enough uh, recompensing it. Anybody been recompensed? Anybody got some payback and stuff? Anybody got any money come in that, man, I forgot about that. Anybody got some, I forgot about checks? Wait a minute. Anybody got them in the mail? Uh, the, 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 the deposit, you know, you're like, oh man, they don't pay me. Okay, thank God. Thank God. I forgot about that money. I, I released it and it came back. That boomerang money. Amen. <laughs> amen. 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 Anybody got any rewards and awards? Amen. In the last uh, few weeks, amen, amen, yeah, the God been blessing and what happened, yeah, yeah, anybody been, yes sir, anybody been, uh, been experiencing, uh, been experiencing restoration, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 good, 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 well, we're going to shift a little bit, because we're still on restoration, uh, but today, we're going to shift into reconciliation, mm -hmm. and restoration, Genesis chapter, chapter 12, verses 2 and 3. Amen. And watch this. This is this is a, a part of God's covenant uh, blessings to you. Uh, we've talked about it before, but some of you that may not have heard that, um, when you got born again, you became a party to a divine contract called the covenant. And then the contract of the covenant, this is where God has agreed, amen, to, to make up, to be your strength, and to make up for every area that you're weak in. Every area that you're not strong, God would make you, God would make up the difference and make you, every area that you're weak, God would make up the difference and make you strong. Amen. In other words, you are no longer, yes sir, you are no longer doing life by yourself. Amen. It, it, now, uh, now he'll never leave you nor forsake you comes into play. And now the God of the covenant becomes your El Shaddai. And whatever you go through in life, you are never alone. You just got to acknowledge the presence. And the presence is not something you'll always feel. But it's a principle that you should always know. If he's always present. This is your covenant. In fact, your covenant says this. Amen. Your covenant says this. Genesis chapter 12, verses 2 and 3. Amen. King James Version. Take one of my Amen. Now watch this. It says, And I will make of thee a great nation. It's your word. It's your reign. He said, I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great. great. Yes. And thou shalt be a blessing. Anybody want their name to be great? Yes. Amen. And now, 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 really, you want your name to be great in one, one particular area, in, in, that, in that credit score. Anybody want their credit score to go up? Yes. What well, he says is that I will bless you. He said, I'll make your name great. Amen. That, that, that gonna make me, I, I, I'm not going to have that much fun. I want to. But, but uh, amen, amen, amen. Amen. Somebody said my credit score is in double digits. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but if you obey God and let him bless you, yeah. it'll go to triple. Yeah. Somebody said, well, it's in triple. In, in fact, somebody, somebody told me they had a 900 credit score. Amen. I know. It. Trip me out. I said, what? They said, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, when I add up Equifax, <laughs> TransUnion, <laughs> watch this, now watch this. Now you ain't laughing. <laughs> he said, he said, I will make of thee a great nation. I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Notice this, God is blessing you to what? Yes. Be a blessing. Yes. Yes. So, so, so notice this, one of the prerequisites with being blessed is you got to be a blessing. 
You know, the same hand that takes, the same hand that gives, right? So, 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 so watch this. In this season, because we've been on the same, uh, overall have been kind of coming out of the pandemic, and we've been more on defense and, 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 uh, and just sustaining rather than offense and gaining. You know, I saw a fight last night, boxing round, you know, you know about the boxing match last night, and, and the brother made a mistake because he's fighting from a defensive position. When you fight on defense, you're not fighting to win, you're fighting to hang in there. You know, and the church got to change just stance in their position in this season. You, 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 you got to stop, you got to stop this. Uh, yeah, and you can, you can praise God and appreciate making it through something. But after a while, yes sir, after a while you got to go ahead and kick the dough down yeah. and go get some. Yeah. 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 Maybe, yeah, I mean, going back to <laughs> yes, it's a different mindset. Yeah. It's a different mindset. Amen, amen. So, so, so watch it. So, 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 so God said, I'm blessing you to be a what? Blessing. A blessing. Yeah. Watch this, verse number three. Here's where we're going to camp out a little bit. He said, and I will bless them that bless thee. And I will curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. My subject title today is... God, uh, yes sir, God wants to use you to restore your family. Amen. In other words, it's time to harvest at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah this is it. it's time to harvest at home. Okay, what that mean? Well, open your Bibles, go to 2 Corinthians, yes sir, chapter, chapter 5, verse 17. Let me, let me go 17 to 20, now watch this. God has blessed you to be a blessing. But well, watch this. But in this season, God wants you to focus on your family. Some of you, amen, yes sir, yes sir. God is not satisfied with just recompensing you and rewarding you. God wants to use you to restore them. Amen. God wants to use you. You know, he's doing something big. And God wants to do something big in your family. But guess what? He wants to do that big thing in your family. He bless you. Amen. See, God is using this season to wreck the world. Well, well, we can just refer to that. I want to talk a little bit. Uh, God wants to use this season to restore and reconcile your family relationships. He, he want to get people back to where they enjoy being around one another. Now, now, now by the way, on this particular message, just smile and, and nod and what have you. Uh -huh. but, 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 but what God wants to do, what God is trying to do is, is make sure, yes sir, is to make sure that you understand that you are blessed to be a blessing to your family first. You know, it's not in the Bible, but, but, but it's been said that charity begins at the love begins at, and the first people that should receive whatever blessings are upon your life, be it financially or whatever, should be your family. Amen. Uh, is that right? The, the first people that should be the that should be the beneficiaries, if I may, of your covenant relationship with God and the fruit of the Spirit that's in your life. You saved now. You ain't. You, know, you ain't stopping folk real fast. <laughs> you know, you say now, and, 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 and now you got a little piece of money, and you, and, and, and now when, when it's a family emergency, you come up and I get, but I write the check. Is, is that right? See, 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 you the saved one in the family, and, and because you the saved one in the family, now God can use you to minister to them. And, and what God is saying in this hour, He says, "Son, tell them." I want to reconcile. The word reconcile, yes, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 and 20. We're going to read it. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 and 20. Now watch this. Yeah, watch this. Now y'all know this already. Uh, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are what? And all, behold, all things have become new. Going to the next one. You see, there's a purpose. And watch this. There's a reason for your salvation. There's a reason for your existence. Here's, here's your number one purpose. Somebody trying to find their purpose in God's will and destiny for your life. Here's, here, is, here is the number one 
purpose and destiny that God has for your life. He says, and all things are of God who hath reconciled. That word reconciled means to restore proper relationship. He said, who hath reconciled us to himself by what? Jesus Christ. And, has, and now watch this. And he says, and hath given us the ministry of what? Meaning that you are now a reconciler. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody lift you. Lift your, your right hand and say, Lord, Lord, I'm sworn in, I'm sworn in to the ministry, to the ministry of, reconciliation. of reconciliation. Amen. That's your ministry. You're trying to figure it out, trying to find out. You're chasing the microphone and, and just Facebook page. I don't know. I hate you. But, 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 but the first thing you ought to be doing is using your ministry at your house. Amen. Amen. See, years ago, I, I said, Amen. years ago, when I first got saved, I was still on fire. You know, still on fire, but I was just—I I had more zeal and knowledge back then. You know, I had—I had more fire than I had, a, you know, education. You know, I didn't know a lot of that. And, and, and so, and, but I remember going out and just getting everybody saved. But then it finally dawned on me that I, I would ignore my family. You know, not ignore them in the negative sense, but I'm like, I gotta win souls. I'm winning souls, and I just go and go and go. And then it dawned on me after going to. And well, it didn't dawn on me that what would it be like for me to get to heaven and see all the people that I won to Christ in heaven, which would be nice, but I don't see my kids. I, I, I said, I wonder what it would be like. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't run my race and finish my course. I get to heaven and I see people who I minister to but I don't see my wife and my mom. And I, I don't see the people. Watch this. It's real now. I don't see the people that matter most. I don't see the people that, 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 that were the closest to me. Hey, hey, the people that I love the most. Wouldn't it be a shame to get to heaven and, and, and you didn't get a chance to witness to, help out, or, or be a blessing to somebody that was close to you? Yeah, and, and this is God, this is what God is saying. He's blessing you to bless your family. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we, hey, 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 watch this. That, that testimony that you got, that blessing, your first recipients should be yeah, your family. That's right. I owe them money. Don't worry, but get a piece of money. So you're get <laughs> right. mm -hmm. Say, I'm blessed. Amen. To be a blessing. See, God wants to, really, in this season, He's going to talk to you. Now, He already been talking to you about it. Yeah. Yeah. How many has God already been talking to you about it? Yeah. Way better. Mm -hmm. Everybody. You think Facebook way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, because God, what's more important to God is you and your family. Yeah. Because, see, your family relationships affect your other relationships. See, 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 you can gauge, and I watch this, you can gauge, you can gauge how, how, how well, yes sir, I say this to Jordan, you can gauge how good a husband your, 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 your potential spouse is going to be by how they daddy treat, treat, treat women. Ooh, wait, somebody, ooh, let me come back and check it out. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, hey, ladies, no, this is all too well. You, you can judge how how well a man will love you by how he treat his mom. Right. Yep. Is that right? I think family matters. Yeah. Does family matter? Hello. I think family matters. And because it matters to God, God wants to make sure that, that, that yes sir, God wants to make sure that we're not public successes. Mm -hmm. And then at home we're private failures. Mm -hmm. He want to make sure that, 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 that the people, as I, I'd like to know, and my wife, she was, that lady, I, I, I hope, because yeah, she just got, she still get praised all the time everywhere I go, you know. <laughs> she, she impacted some, but, but, I, but I thank God that the people she impacted the most was her family. Amen. Yeah, I got amen, I got amen. amen. And, and she, and I, and I, so, so turn me to Nehemiah. Yes, sir. Whew. See, God wants to use you to minister to your family. You go, what's my ministry field? In your living room. 
hey, 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 Watching the game, and don't miss, don't miss up their game. But, but, but go ahead and buy the pizza and go on there and sit down. Ooh wee. Mm. God trying to fix you. See, see, God wants to fix families. Watch this. But God can't fix families Himself. Just He can't just wave His hand and do that. Watch this. Remember, I told you that you are you have a covenant with God. Well, that covenant is two sided. See, the, see, see, saints think covenant just God bless me. Got you. Mm, I got a covenant with God. Uh, yeah, yeah, but hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. But in the covenant, God wants to know can he use you too? Mm -hmm. yeah, hey, 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 hey. He, that's what he did Abraham. He touched him on the shoulder and said, hey, I want to use you on the earth. He did the same thing with all the men and women of God in the Bible. Calling everybody was used of God because they had to surrender to God's will to be used for God and God to go through them to bless somebody else. Ooh, now watch this. God want to bless you real bad. But God wants to use you to be a blessing to your family. Amen. Mm -hmm. And watch this. And I understand something. Nehemiah. Amen. Go to Nehemiah. Chapter 9. Talk about a few things, and I don't know how long we're going to be on this because I sense it's going to be a moment or two. Because because I don't just want to preach a word, I want to teach it, and I want to make sure that you have some tools in order to do it. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave you here just frustrated. With the task of, oh man, I got man, I got to go ahead and tell them, hey, hey, I got to tell them I'm sorry. I got to repent. I, 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 you mean I got to call them up? Ooh. Now, 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 mind you, everybody at the sound of my voice, God is going to give you different methods and ways to deal with them. But notice this, though, and let me say, and I, I really got to say this. Don't dismiss this task. Don't take lightly this message. Because I'm going to do it here, sir. Don't take lightly this message. Don't dismiss this task. Because if God Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth and all that is seen and unseen, is putting a family member on your heart that he wants you to minister to, let me tell you something, that, that could mean that family member is about to leave this present earth. And, and, and one thing I learned, the biggest part of grief is, is not so much the sorrow of missing the person, the biggest part of grieving is regretting that you didn't reach out and talk to them before they left. See, see, it's hard to shake grief when you know God told you and he, he, he unctioned you and he moved on you to do something or say something, but for whatever reason you didn't. See, it, it, but, it's, but the flip side, it brings great peace when you know you have done, it, it brings great peace in a relationship. Amen. That, has, that one has shifted to, to glory. It brings great peace when you know that you've done everything that you're supposed to do regarding that. Mm -hmm. I, I told y'all last week, I got a call from uh, I got a call from uh, my cousin you know, down, in, down, in, uh, down in Florida. And he was saying one of my great, great cousins been to pass away. Uh, y'all probably saw him one of the, I didn't say his name, but, uh, but and, and, my, and my, 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 well, he's a bad dude. He's he, he one of the first Black uh, Negro back then, black baseball players. Uh, he played for the San Francisco Giants. And he's a bad boy. And he's something else. He's a, he always had a tough, and rough exterior, you know. In fact, every time he saw me, you know, he knew he saw me driving, you know, I, I like Escalade. <laughs> and, and, and God put that on me. You know, God put that taste in me. And, I, and, and every time he see me at a family function, I'd be driving that's something nice. And he'd go, Yeah, yeah, I see you, cuz. You still preaching, ain't you? Cause you still, you still show driving good as usual. He said, but that's gonna take care of you when you preach. When you're a preacher, you can drive like that, can't you? And I didn't look at him and laugh. Yes, sir. I, I, I gotta tell you something right quick on that. Some of y'all gotta get out your feelings. Because you're the same one. Is that right? I, I, I don't know what the scripture, but Galatians 6 and 1 says, you that are spiritual, you restore such a one. I'm asking you, you so saved, why are you tripping? Amen. 
if you don't want to get Jesus in the family, why they got to calm you down? Okay, let me go back to my story. I don't know. Right. 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 Pay attention to the same. You get me? You know what happened with him? Right now. Now watch this. Now watch this. And so they contacted me and told me that he was no longer responsive. They said, they said that he was in the asthma. You know, they, they pretty much gave him up. I tell you, I told you that last week, didn't I? And, and, and they gave him up. But I have a method. You know, I, I've been there before. You know, I've been ministering for quite a while. And, 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 and I know how to get them safe before they, before they get up out of here. I know how to snatch them out the clutches. And so I gave, you know, gave them some instructions. Long and short, I was able to lead him to Christ. You know, last, uh, last Saturday. Amen. Amen. He got born again. Amen. Amen. He got saved. Watch this. I found out Friday morning he passed away. Guess what I did? Hallelujah. Because he's in glory. He's, and, and, and it was good to read. Folk was shouting, and folk was praising God. I said, Hallelujah. Now watch this. Watch this. Now that's my, my cousin who I love dearly. What, I, what, I, what if I had said, No, man, he always been fun me about being a preacher. I ain't fooling with him. Hey, hey, hey watch this. What if I adopt the attitude that man, them heathens ain't saved? I'm not gonna fool with them. That be doing what? That be blocking your blessings, won't it? Now I didn't say that. So don't be mad. You can shift your anger to that. No, no, no. See, see, see. <laughs> see, God wants to use you to fix your. Now, 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 now mind you, don't worry. There's a grace on you, and and, now, and you gonna have to. You gotta use some time. Some of y'all want me to lay hands. No, you lay hands. See, you can do it, and you can lay hands without laying hands. They ain't got to know you. you they don't walk up with a big old ball. And they're like, hey, Jesus, don't come like that. You're going to run them off for another two years. No, no, no. You, hey, you can hug them. I, I don't done it many times. You can hug them and, and, and show them love and cast out demons at the same time. Now, now, don't nobody get nervous in here thinking, oh, that's why he hugged me last night. <laughs> Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter Watch this. Nehemiah chapter, yes sir, chapter 9. I'll read something to you. I, mean, I got to get ready to close. I got to give you some pointers. Listen, God wants to use you to harvest at home. God wants, to, God wants to shift your focus from finance to family. Now, no, take care of your business. But what I'm saying is, in your prayer life, stop praying for them. Instead of that. Amen. You, you, okay, y'all remember? You, we talked about double for your trouble. Right. Y'all remember double for your trouble? Yeah. One of the key components that God released the double on Job. And over, and don't turn to it, but I, uh, Job 42 and 10. Mm -hmm. It said that God released the double when he stopped praying for his friends. Yeah. Yeah. See, see this, this ministry to your family begins on a prayer. It begins that you that, that now they become priority in your prayer life. Mm -hmm. now, now your prayer life, the number one thing on the list is not, oh Lord. Now, now, now your prayer life is bless so and so, and uncle so and so, bless my bless my son. It's gonna start in your prayer life because see, prayer is gonna soften the condition of heart. Watch this. Prayer is gonna soften and condition their hearts. No, no, no. Prayer is gonna soften. Soften and condition your heart. See, God is still telling your soul, your soul, your soul. That's where the seeds are incubating. And that's where the seeds of harvest are planted in your heart. And what God is doing is breaking up that fallow ground. Bringing up the, hey, breaking up them, them little hard, crusty spots. <laughs> Never get rain. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Hey, what are you, yes, sir, I hear that. What he's doing is in parts where you put the put the, the plow in and it hit that big old rock. Mm -hmm. and, and instead of working on that, you just stop and go, no, 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 no. Now this season, he wants to take the pickaxe. Stop. Turn, hey, 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 turn off the John Deere. He wants to get that pickaxe. Let's work on his rock. 
Let's get the shovels and dig it around it. Mike, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, boy, you got something, you got, amen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about naturally, amen. But, but, but God wants, no, 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 we're going to stop it. We're going to stop, no, no, we ain't going no further. Because the field ain't completed if we ain't got this rock. Right. Amen. He wants to condition the heart of your heart, the soil, the soul, the S-O-I-L, and the S-O-U-A of your heart because that's where your harvest comes from. It, it don't turn on me, but y'all remember First John, uh, yes sir, First John 2 and 3, uh, it, it says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health even as your soul. And, and, and God wants to get that soul right. We're going to put some miracle bro in there. But before we do that, we got to get them rocks out. Now watch this. Now the folk you're going to deal with they not going to be, they may not be the most receptive. I wish I could prophesy. <laughs> and say, yay, I say. <laughs> it's going to be easy today. But no, 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 do what you're going to do. Nehemiah 9, now watch this. Hey, Amen. Is this happening anybody yet? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And I, and I, I, I had a good one I wanted to preach. But the Lord said, no, son, it's time to focus on family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's what you need. What you want, what you want or what you need? I didn't hear nothing. Okay, that's all right. Let me hear one of them. I don't know. Okay. Nehemiah, watch this. Now watch this. Here's what you're going to deal with. Now watch this. Y'all ready? Now, now, if you know it's going to rain ahead of time, then you prepare. Is that right? Yes, sir. You know, when the weatherman tell you that there's going to be rocky and stormy tomorrow, when the storm comes, you ain't tripping. All right. Now watch this. Now watch this. Here's, here's some responses that you may get. Amen. Y'all ready? Now watch this. Yes, sir. <laughs> Nehemiah 9 16. He says, But there but they and our fathers dealt proudly and hardened their necks and hearkened not to thy commandments. Guess what? They may act like they, can, they can't hear you. Hear me now. Let me, let, me, let me give you something. Don't look for a natural response. Don't let the natural reaction determine your response. We talk about that some more later on. Yes, sir. I sense I'm about to stay there a little bit. You, yes, sir. You remember? You remember? Yes, sir. You got to walk in the spirit, not by what you're feeling. Amen. Yeah. You, you, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You gonna have to operate in your relationship above sea level. Amen. If you go by what you see, mm. you can be right back. Mm. Mm. You gonna leave the rock there. Watch this, verse 17. Watch this. Now, now this may happen. You ready? Verse 17, you ready? He says, and refuse, and then watch this, not only, did, not only did they not hear it, but it says, they refused to obey. Neither were mindful of thy wonders that thou didst among them. And look, look, but hardened their necks and in their rebellion appointed somebody Appointed a captain to return to their bondage. Mm -hmm. Stop, look up, look up, look up. In other words, guess what? Guess what? They may reject you because their heart. Now, watch this. Because a lot of times, yes, sir, when you deal with, with somebody that's wounded, when you touch that spot, they're going to react. They're going to drop back. You know, I, I got a little dog around. You know, he must have got something in his paw. He normally let me play with his paws. But now, when I grab his paw, he snatched back. I said, oh, no, he ain't. That, 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 hey, hey, that's normally not his nature. You know, but guess what? I said, well, let me try. I'm going to wait a while and try it again. I did need. I said, going to bite my hand. That's all. Now, now, watch this. Now, watch this. Now, I didn't hit him back. I didn't beat him and throw him against the wall. <laughs> because I understood the wounded reaction was not him, but it was the hurt. You see, I understood, I understood that, that the wounds that, that he was dealing with was not necessarily for me. I'm just the one that's present at the moment. See, 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 just, like, see just like as a Christian, uh, on the positive side, on the positive side, uh, people get good things being associated with me. But watch this. But as a non-Christian and being, as a Christian full of heaven, you're trying to bless folks. 
But as a, as a non-Christian full of hell, you may be cussing for them. That's their nature. And you got to understand that. To where you, to where you don't get offended and, and run off. Yes, sir. You ain't that holy. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Before you... No, 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 no. Bring that down. No, 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 you, no, 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 no. Oh, so, so you got wings now. Come on, so, so, so you don't get saved now. Oh, okay, so you don't forget you used to drink. So, so you, you, hey, 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 you how the liquor store what? And they going, oh, you know, ah. Uh. Point number five, two, three. Watch this. You can't go in, judge. Amen. Amen. Watch this. Judge not. We ain't, we, ain't, we ain't gonna go there for I think it's John 7, 7. Jesus said, Judge not. Let you be. If you are experiencing judgment yourself, make sure you're not experiencing it. It may not necessarily be an attack from the devil. It may be a reciprocation of your actions. See, so you could you bring judgment upon yourself when you judge others. I don't have somebody that you don't came to church with. We close shop today. <laughs> maybe what you're dealing with, and maybe the oppression and fear and attack that you're dealing with is not so much uh, the devil, but it's a universal principle that you have activated by judging others. Because Jesus said, when you judge others, you judge your. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Let me go back down. In fact, look, look, look what God says. He says, look, go back to where it says, but. He says, well, now we better let me read the whole thing in context. Verse 17, and, and they refused to obey, neither were, this is your family, okay? They may, they may refuse to obey, neither were mindful of all the good things God did, right? The one is that God did this among them, but hardened their necks into rebellion and appointed a captain. Amen. <laughs> That's a whole other thing. We have fun with that later. And appointed a captain to return to their bondage. But that, but look at this, but, somebody say but. But. Ooh -wee. But thou art a God that's ready to what? Pardon. Mm -hmm. That's gracious and merciful. That's what? And of great and look and look at the last part. And what? Somebody say, ain't nobody mad. Ain't nobody mad. But the devil. Are you mad? We got work to do, though. You see, see, for the yeah, yeah, Easter coming. And, and, and watch this. And in fact, hey, hey, I'm, I'm gonna let you, remember I said this moment ago that when you know the weather forecast, right. you ain't tripping with something. Okay, let me give you the forecast. Easter come, and, and, and everybody coming out again. <laughs> hey, hey, they come, they come out of your house. You gotta go by some houses. You gotta make the adjustment. You're the Christian one. Remember Galatians 6 1 says, You that are strong, restore such a. Oh, 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 oh. Well, let, me, yeah, let me go further in the forecast at the side of radar. <laughs> in May, Mother's Day coming. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and guess what? You got to forgive mom. Mama Oh, uh, yeah, mama. You're going to see mama and him when you go see mom. <laughs> you going to see him. Oh, yes, I feel another, another, another beep on the radar. In June, Father's Day coming. Oh, yeah. mm. uh -oh. mm. it, it'd be a good idea to go ahead and start working on them father issues. And here's the thing, y'all. When you're working on the issues, hear me now. When you're working on the issues, it's not them. You're working on issues. I said, it's you. It's you. What are you doing? You're becoming a better person. Yeah. You're growing. Yeah. And you're becoming who God wants you to be. Well, y'all still love me. Yeah. Now, 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 let me tell you something before we close. I'm going to let this go because I think y'all had enough right now. <laughs> this your homework. Yeah. Hey, God doing something big. He's using you to be a blessing to your family. Yeah. But, but I got to tell you something. Yeah, you, you go ahead and close your Bible, but I I like to eat these little quick other points that the Lord told me to tell you. He said, tell them, son, that one of the, well, I got a little, I'm going to need a little music now. 
<laughs> well, I grab the music plan. The Lord said, tell them, son, because what's going to happen as you start dealing with different ones, and God's going to tell you who, he's going to tell you what, he's going to tell you when, and he's going to give you the grace and the wisdom on how to do it. Now watch this. The Lord told me to tell you, you're going to have to forgive them first. In fact, you got to forgive them whether they know it or not. Yeah, you, you, you may have to sit in your car before you go in. That is why I should just do it today. You know, and, and, and for the sake of your ability to flow and focus. And, now, now this is for those that want to be you. Who, who want to be used by God again? Amen. So, yeah. God wants to use you as a tool. To restore. He wants to use you as a plow to help people. Hey, hey, your first ministry assignment? Everybody looking for an assignment from God? I want to go to Africa. I hear you. Yeah, I, want, ooh, I, want, ooh, I want to go. I hear you. I hear you. Let's go home first. Amen. Let's work on the den in the living room. Hey, 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 as far as traveling, let's go to the back deck. Are they barbecuing chicken? Maybe, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, I need some music back. Because these are the things that God had me to do. Mm -hmm. And you want to jump. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Get them. And, and, and they may, they may not, but the Lord told me to tell you. He said, tell them, son. Tell them, son. You ain't got no music? Tell them, son. He said, tell them. Here's the big one. To forgive them first, but watch this. He said, tell them to avoid overthinking. He told me to deal with that a little bit yesterday. He, he, he said, son, tell them to avoid. Now, here's the big one. He said, tell them to avoid overthinking. See, your problem ain't them. Sometimes it's the spinners in your mind that's still going. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me clarify. He, he said, overthinking. He said, tell them to stop reading too much into what you think they've done. reading too much in it. You taking it too personal. They didn't even do all that. They didn't say all that. <laughs> they said no. Mm. But you heard some explicit. <laughs> <laughs> they said they can't come over. And then you told the folk they won't come over. <laughs> They said they didn't get the car. He told the family, they want to answer their phone when I call. He said, son, tell them, don't, he said, whatever they did wrong, don't nurse the negativity. How do you nurse it? You're pondering it. Yeah. You're replaying it too much. Mm -hmm. See, hey, you're going to change your meditation for the sake of your family situation. Let me say that again. You're going to have to change your meditation for the sake of your family situation. You got to let them, man, they sin us. It's sin. That's right. That's what they do. And saints do too. Yes. <laughs> he said, tell them. That. He said, yeah. He said, tell them. Yes, sir. He said, tell them that sometimes the worst place you can be is in your own head. Sometimes the problem ain't even, I know y'all quiet. I must be all right. Sometimes the problem is not them. It's your perception. It's how you're dealing with it. It's how you're perceiving it. And you're doing that because you may have some wounds in your heart that's affecting your spiritual vision. You may have some issues that you have. You may have a band-aid on. Amen. You, you may have some issues that that, 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 that you may be think you heal, but maybe not. And you may be in a healing process. One of the ways to know, hear me now, one of the ways to know when you are 
heal from something is when you can laugh at it. No, 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 hold on, I'm sorry. When you can laugh about it. Mr. Chambers, laugh at it. You mess around and think, you start laughing at folk. That's a payback. I That's a smell. No, 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 no. Laugh about it. Don't hurt no more. Don't hurt no more. So right now, it's often time. It's often It's often time. And on the back of your offering today, in fact, those that are listening by way of Facebook, I want you to sow a seed for your family. In fact, next Sunday at Remnant Church is Family and Friends Day. We're going to have a meal that's going to be served in the Life Center. Should be plenty of food for everyone, and it's going to be great. I want I want a child to invite somebody to church. I don't say I'm not saying you get them saved. But then invite somebody to come to church. I'll be on my best behavior. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I appreciate that. I'm going to give you a tip. <laughs> amen. amen. No, but, but, but you want to go ahead and, you, you want to go ahead and, and on your offering, put down family and some friends. Amen. Because after all, uh, the, your, your closest friends are the family members that you picked. Some of y'all, your, your brother, your real brother, is is, is your gym partner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your 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 real your, your your friends are the family that you pick. Amen, amen, amen. So with that being said, you can give by way of Cash App, Remnant C, Give the Five, Remnant Church, Little Rock. Need that often in local raise your hand. Uh, give the Five, Remnant Church, Little Rock. Uh, PayPal. At yes, it's Remnant Church Little Rock at Yahoo.com. Amen. And you can mail your offering here to Remnant Church International, 11715. Rainwood Road. 11715. Thank you. Give me a little more music. 11715. Rainwood Road. Little Rock, Arkansas. 72212. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Put that on my offering as well. But even now, while I'm talking, there may be somebody at the sound of my voice that's not born again. Now here's the thing now. The things and the instructions that I just gave you are going to be hard to do if you're not saved. See, see in order to love people, it's going to require the love of Jesus being in your heart. And you receive the love of Jesus by accepting him as your personal Savior and Lord. So if you hear the dead sound of my voice, be it here, here in this in this public arena or there on, on, on the social media site, if you haven't received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, we can do it right now. You can receive Jesus right now by simply repeating these words after me. And they're going to do it here as well. Just say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I accept, I accept your, death, your death, your burial, your burial and, your resurrection and your resurrection for my sins. I thank you, I thank you that, you died that you died and you were risen, and you were risen for, the sake for the sake of my soul. Of my soul. So, Lord Jesus, so, Lord Jesus, right now, right now I, ask you I ask you to come into my heart, to, into my heart, to, cleanse, me to cleanse me from all sin, from all sin and, unrighteousness, and unrighteousness and to make me, to make me a, new a new creation. Help me, Lord, Help me, Lord to do life, to do life with, you, with you in Jesus' name. Jesus amen, 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 amen. Give God a hand, praise Him. If you said that prayer, you're saved. Amen. If you say that prayer, and if you said it with your whole heart, you're, you're saved. And now God is going to help you to help others. He's going to set up scenarios, and more importantly, He's going to lead you as to what He would have you to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. The message today is God wants to use you to bless your house. Charity begins at the home. So while everybody is standing here, amen, we're getting ready to release everyone. I want to remind you, of course, we do have Wednesday nights uh, Bible study coming up on Wednesday. In fact, I want to invite everybody to prayer. We have intercessory prayer at 530 on Wednesday nights prior to the word going forth. Also, um, yes, sir. Also, I want to encourage those that are on the live and those that are present. Um, we have prayer here at 9 o'clock. And I want to challenge you to come out to intercessory prayer. Uh, there's an atmosphere of acceleration, if I may, that there's an energy that, that's present in this place when the saints come together to pray. 
So I want to invite you to come out, of course. Uh, sure, 10 o'clock is service time, but 9 o'clock is session of prayer. Amen. And, and come out and, and have prayer. Are there any other announcements? I do need to see those that are doing the, uh, the Resurrection Day activities. Uh, I think we've got some plays and some presentations that we're going to do. I need to see you immediately at the service right here, if you don't mind. I want to talk to you about some things. Amen, amen. And what I'm doing, I'm writing on my arm and my family. Because I know. Somebody wonder, why is he doing that? Well, I'm going to keep in mind and watch this. I'm doing that because I'm sowing a seed. Amen. And just like when you go to the, to, you know, right now it's the springtime, when you go to the hardware store and buy some seeds to put in your car, you know, you know you'll know, amen, when you buy an apple or, or, or yes sir, uh, uh, with, with some elephant ears, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, well, when you buy seed, when you buy seed for a certain plant and, and you put it in the ground, you'll know that that seed come up because it matches what you had on the package. Is that right? Mm -hmm. so, so, so now watch this. Your finance is seed. Right. It's seed sown on, I think I, I can pass the mic around, we'll be here tomorrow. It's seed sown on fertile ground, full of miracle growth. Amen, that springs forth quickly. But watch this, but you want this seed, yes sir, some of y'all especially, I sense that. You want this seed to show up in God's moving through your family. Yeah, Amen. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God wants to use this seed to, 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 to move through your family, to move upon their hearts, mm -hmm. but also to give you some wisdom on how to deal with them. Yes, sir, yes, sir. This seed will unlock, yes, sir, the presence and the Spirit of God in you to show you what to do and guide you on how to do what God is telling you to do. So if you got your offering ready, yes, sir. Once again, of course, cash out, dollar sign, remnant C. Give the five remnant church, Little Rock. And then PayPal, remnant church, Little Rock at yahoo.com. Lift your offering up. Lift your seed up. Amen. Amen. In fact, let's go ahead and, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lift your seed up. Say, Father. Father. I thank you. I thank you. That I sow this seed. That I sow this seed. My time. My, time. my offering, my offering. For, the sake for the sake of harvest, of harvest. In, my in my family Lord, Lord more, important more important than my money, than my money is, my family. is my family more important, more important than, my needs than my needs is my family, is my family. Being, saved. being saved so Lord, so Lord I sow this seed for your wisdom, for your, wisdom, for, your grace, for your grace, for your love. For your love. I sow this seed so that you will activate, so that you activate angels, angels, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. That, you that you will activate the atmosphere, the atmosphere. and my family. My family. Lord, I thank you, Lord, I thank you. That, that I sow this, sow this seed. I'm claiming, I'm claiming. household. Salvation. Salvation. I'm claiming I'm deliverance, deliverance for my daughters. For my daughters. Deliverance, deliverance for my son. For my son. Ooh, that son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm claiming, I'm claiming breakthrough, breakthrough for my dad. Yes, sir. I'm claiming, I'm claiming a, mighty a mighty move of your spirit, of your spirit among, my family. among my family. Lord, I release now, Lord, I release now through this seed, through this seed revival, revival thank you, Lord. in my family, my family. Relationships. relationships. In Jesus', Jesus name. Jesus. In the praying the spirit of this worship. If you water that seed, we'll worship you. Yeah, that little Lord, we thank you. Go ahead and come up today. Yeah, that little Lord, we thank you. As they collect the seed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. And Lord, I thank you for giving us wisdom and divine direction. I thank you for guiding your people on what to say. Yes, sir. 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 Thank you for guiding them to forgive first. And choosing to forget. Choosing. No, no, no. You may not forget, but you still forgive. Yeah, no oh, no, no more. And yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. They don't have to accept your your apology. They don't have to accept it. You do it anyway. 
Yeah, that that both suffer. You, you, you do. Lord, thank you. Lord, we thank you for your word. And we thank you, Father God, that we are blessed to be a blessing. And we thank you that the harvest begins at our homes. So if you will, of course, I will see you next week, of course, in person, because you will not be able to eat the tasty food that we're going to have on next Sunday to that camera. So go ahead and come out and bring somebody with you. We, we, we want to have, we want to, we want to be so, we want to be in, so impositioned that we have to go out and buy some more chicken. Amen. You know, we want to be so overwhelmed uh, 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 hey, that, that we gotta, you know, that, that we gotta, we gotta order pizzas or something. Amen. So, so if you would, of course, invite your family. Yes, sir. Invite your family and friends to church. That may be the opening. That may be the crack that you're looking for to do with you, what God wants to do in you. So with that being said, Father, in the name of Jesus, bless them, use them, increase them, manifest yourself through them, and give them wisdom as they leave this place. Until we meet again, I love y'all. God bless you. See you next week.